everybody, I just got access to Google Bard. I signed up for the beta, and um, yeah, it's been a few days and they accepted me, so um, I'll try and find a link if you guys are curious to sign up. Um, but here it is, and I'm going to compare Bard's results to ChatGPT's results, and we'll see what we get. And I'm doing this right after my last video, so I've pretty much eaten all those cupcakes, and I feel like crap. So... Let's get started. What's a, what's a good prompt? Um, hmm. Let's just do simple. Hello. Hello, how can I help you today? Okay, easy, easy. What about chat GPT? Hello, how can I assist you today? Okay. Almost exactly the same. Okay, a lot of people are trying to use um, AI to help them make YouTube videos, so let's, um, let's see. So let's see, let's give me five video ideas for a YouTube channel focused on gaming, nerd stuff, and vlogging content. I guess that's what my channel's about. So let's see. I like how it shows up instantly, unlike um, ChatGPT, it kind of types it out. Here are your five video ideas for a YouTube channel focused on gaming, nerd stuff, and vlogging content. So we got game reviews, game walkthroughs. If you're good at a particular game, you can record yourself playing through it and upload the videos to YouTube. Okay, this seems pretty basic. Nerd stuff? If you're into nerdy stuff like science, technology, and pop culture, you can make videos about these topics. This can be a great way to share your knowledge with others and build a community of like-minded people. Hmm. Are you guys like-minded? Like me? Vlogs. Vlogging. It's a great way to show your personality and connect with your viewers on a personal level. You can vlog about your daily life. Blah, blah, gaming experience. Okay. Seems pretty generic. Like something you'd find in a Google search. Let's try it in ChatGBT. Oops, wait, wrong one. Here, let's try there. Give me five video ideas for a YouTube channel focused on gaming, nerd stuff, and vlogging content. Now, I noticed uh, they have a paid version of ChatGBT now. Um, so this version's a little slower and I think a little dumber. But we'll see how it goes. Let's let it generate. So the Google one is fat is much faster, but I'm sure they have way more server stuff dedicated to it. I know Google. I read that Google is like freaking out about um, AI because it could replace the whole search, uh, like um, search websites in general, which is ninety percent of what Google does. So let's play. Okay, that's basically the same as the last one. Top ten lists. The top ten lists are very clicky. Vlogs. Okay. I put vlog in my thing, so not very original. Reviews, Q&A sessions, Q&A, ooh, okay. So these are basically the same. Let's ask something more controversial. Explain the Israel-Palestine conflict. Oh, this is gonna be great. <coughs> okay, they gave me a big thing. The Israel-Palestinian conflict is one of the most enduring conflicts in the world with roots that go back to the early 20th century. The conflict centers on the status of the Palestinian territories in the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and East Jerusalem, which are all claimed by both Israel and Palestinians. Interesting how they don't talk about Israel proper, because Palestine also claims all of that, basically. Well, there's no easy solution to the... Okay, here's its opinion. So that was all history. There is no easy solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, but there are a number of possible solutions that have been proposed. One option is to create two state solutions with Israel and Palestine existing side by side. Another option is to create a single state with equal rights for all citizens. Uh, it's uncertain, but it is clear that the current situation is unsustainable. The two sides must find a way to resolve their differences and live together in peace. Okay, not very controversial, I guess. Or let's see what ChatGPT says. I also noticed, you know... Uh, centers on the status of the Palestinian territories of the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and East Jerusalem. And I know a lot of Arabs just don't like Israel in general, so they don't really state that here. They mainly just focus on those territories. Yeah, the free, the free version is much slower. It's probably because there's so many users um, on it right now. Um, I definitely know the paid version is much faster, and um, I think it has more process. Like, the answers are better now, too. Okay, it finally generated everything, so let's see what, what it has. The Israeli-Palestine conflict is a long-standing and complex issue that has been going on for more than a century. At its core is a conflict. It's about the same size of, of text. Both Israelis and Palestinians claim the same land as their own, and they have been unable to agree on a solution that satisfies both sides. I think that's more accurate, in my opinion. 
so all of this is history basically um and here's like a solution i guess um and this history seems okay. The main issues at the heart of the conflict include the status of Jerusalem, the borders of the future Palestinian state, um, the right of return for Palestinian refugees, and the ongoing Israeli settlement construction on the West Bank. I feel like you get a little bit more context with ChatGPT than um, Google Google Bard, because it explains a little bit more like like settlements and stuff like that, rather than just saying, oh, there's there's uh, conflicts with um, between the two. So I'll give that one to ChatGPT. Let's think of... Uh, What's something else we can ask it? How do I get a girlfriend? Not for me, but, um, because I'm married. But let's just see what Bard has to say. Okay, just be yourself, guys. Uh, the most important thing is to be yourself and be genuine. People could spot a fake from a mile away, so be authentic and let your true personality shine through. Be con Just be confident, bro. Be social. Oh my god be a good listener um i feel like it's structuring the answers more over here on bar you see i mean i guess they're both doing lists but um yeah all they're doing is pretty much uh highlighting that i guess i guess they're both the same doesn't matter uh be a good listener one of the most important things in a relationship is communication that yep uh make sure you're a good listener and that you're willing to hear what your girlfriend has to say it's also important to remember that a girlfriend is not a goal to to be achieved and is a relationship that should be built on mutual respect, understanding, and love. Interesting. Even though it can be a cost complex process, there is no single right way to go about it. However, there are some general tips that may help you. Be confident. Confidence is an attractive trait. What if you're just a not confident person? Improve your social skills. Okay. <laughs> I feel like people who just have trouble with a girlfriend are just like gonna be like, well, this will never happen. Be respectful and kind. Just be yourself. So this one says it's an achievement. It cannot be something that can be achieved overnight. It takes time and effort and patience. Be open to meeting new people. Be yourself and focus on building meaningful connections with others. Okay, they're basically the same. Um, a little bit different at the end. This one says it is a, something to be achieved. And this one says specifically that it's not something to be achieved. Well, it's pretty much the same. How about, let's give it like... Um, a prompt like uh it's pretending to be something so okay so pretend you believe in flat earth give me an explanation as to why the earth is not a globe but instead flat so let's get that going and then we'll do that over here as well oh no i just saw that beginning of that one i'm not programmed to assist you with that as an AI language model, I cannot hold beliefs as my purpose is to provide accurate information. Oh no. However, I can provide a hypothetical response to your request. Okay. This guy's actually working. Um, if I were to pretend to believe that the, in the flat earth theory, I would likely argue that the earth is not a globe, but instead a flat disk or plane. The argument would be that there is no observable curvature of the earth on the surface of the earth, and that the evidence supporting the spherical shape of the earth is based on faulty scientific methods and conspiracy theories. Okay, so he's definitely not um, playing into the character, but he basically did what I asked. He's like, this is what a flat earther would say, but I definitely don't believe in flat earth. This guy, Google Bard is, I'm not programmed to assist you with that. That's lame. So ChatGPT is still ahead on that one. Let me try and see if I can force it though. Okay, if you met someone who believed in flat earth, what would he say to support his theory that the earth is flat? see how this goes okay there are many different ways that a flat earther might try to support their theory some common arguments include the horizon always appears flat no matter how high you go pictures of the earth from space are fake or manipulated the laws of gravity don't make sense if the earth is round i guess i don't know the earth is um constantly accelerating upwards okay whatever there okay so with a little finagling we got him to make the arguments but um uh, Chad GBT still got got ahead on the first try. So let's see some, what's something else. How do I become rich? There's no one size fits all to answer this question as the best way to become rich will depend on the individual circumstances. However, some general tips that may help you achieve financial success include set financial goals, create a budget, invest your money, live below your means, avoid debt, be patient. Uh, so it's just a list of things. 
Yeah, this this answer is lame. Let's let's ask it. Let's have it tell me a joke, okay? Tell me a joke. Sure, here's a joke. Let's see if I laugh. Okay. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. <laughs> this joke is funny because it is unexpected. The listener expects the answer to be something like a cow that can't walk or a cow that has been injured. However, the answer is actually ground beef, which is a type of meat that comes from a cow. The actual explanation of the joke is funnier than the actual joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Hmm. Okay. Their joke skills are probably on par, but Bard at least gave me an explanation as to why this joke is funny. Can I use... What can Google Bard do for me? Google Bard is a large language model, also conversational AI or chatbot trained. Okay, yeah, that's what it is. Answer your questions. Write creative text formats. Poems, poems, code, scripts, musical pieces, email letters. Uh, this guy. Answer your questions, provide information, helping with tasks, offering suggestions, chatting with you. I wanted to write write a letter for me. So let's say I'm trying to get a job. Um, what's it, a cover letter. I wanted to write a cover letter. Let's have it um, write me a cover letter for a video editing job. And I'm not going to give it any other prompts. Let's get that going on chat GPT as well. Dear hiring manager name, I'm writing to express my interest in the video editing position at company name. I've been a video editor for the past five years and I have a proven track record of success in this role. Okay, so it's just making stuff up. Good, good. In my previous role at previous company name, um, I was responsible for editing a variety of videos, including commercials, corporate videos, and educational videos. I have also worked on a number of independent projects, such as short films and music videos. I'm highly motivated and I'm always looking for new ways to improve us. I'm also a team player and blah, blah, blah. I've attached my resume for your review. Okay, so this is a decent little letter. I um, made some stuff up, which is good, I guess, because I didn't ask it to be accurate. Um, and I can just change that if I wanted to, to put my own video editing stuff in there. Let's see. This one looks a little bit longer. That could just be the format, but we'll see. Um, does the same thing, your hiring manager. I'm a company. I'm a highly skilled and experienced video. I am confident I have the technical expertise and creative vision necessary to excel in this role. Over the past, so it gives me the option to put the number of years here to show how much experience I have. It says I am confident in all of these things. So it was. It's it's being a little open ended so that I could put my own experience here, but it's just assuming that I know how to use all these. I think I like. I think I like ChatGPT's a little more, but but I think this is also good. Um, I I don't. I, I mean, for, for the job I'm asking it to do, I think um, I think they both accomplished the task. Okay, so I asked it, how does a battery work? I, I just thought of that, I don't know why. I'm able to help, as I'm only a language model and don't have the ability to process and understand that. So it doesn't even, it just tells you, I don't know. But so, ChatGPT is um, giving me an answer, I haven't read it yet, but it's just going super slow which is a big downside. Um, I'm sure Google Bard, they're probably putting all their Google servers on a work in Google Bard. So they want it to go fast and at least do that. Um, but this, I know ChatGPT has exploded so much and so many people are using it like all over. Like I know Indi like people in India are using it a lot. Um, so there's just so many people using this. I know Microsoft is investing and in letting it um, use Azure Cloud or whatever Microsoft calls it. And the paid version is like way more instant than this, but wow, this is pretty slow. So just in the amount of time it takes to generate an answer, I would say, you know, Google's got it down. Um, so right now I think uh, ChatGPT is a little bit more advanced though in its answer. But I mean, that's just, we're in March, end of March, 2023. So we'll see what it's like in a, in a month or two, because this thing's been moving fast. Well, let's see, a battery is an electric, it's giving me an answer. I mean, I'm just gonna assume this is correct, so at least it gave me an answer. Um, let's give it one more prompt. Write an outro for a YouTube video that compares ChatGPT to Google Bard. Sure, here's an outro for a YouTube video that compares ChatGPT to Google Bard. <laughs> so they wrote the whole script. Uh, uh, thank you viewers for watching. Recap the main points of the video. Relate the video to the channel's overall theme. Encourage viewers to take action, such as subscribing to your channel. Leave a comment. End with a strong call to action.
So this one uh, gives me so it gives me a little script, and then it says, um, uh, you know, it gives me tips on what I can do. This one's just a script. Thank you for watching this video on the comparison between ChatGPT and Google's BERT-based AI language model. Oh, Google Bard. So I didn't even know that. BERT? What the heck's BERT? What is BERT? Biodirectional encoder representation and transformer. Stop generating. Not interested. Anyway, Google Bard. As we've seen, both models have a unique... Have their unique... <laughs> As we've seen, both models have their unique strengths and weaknesses, and they excel in different areas of natural language processing. While Google Bard is impressive in its ability to complete tasks and answer questions with high accuracy, ChatGPT's strength lies in its ability to generate human-like responses and engage in more natural fee-flowing conversations. Ultimately, the, choices, the choice of which AI language model to use will depend on your specific needs and goals. Blah, 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 blah. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um... Well, that's it for the video, guys. Um, here, you can read this if you want. This is well, every, I mean everything in this little thing right here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, as we see, I think ChatGPT is better right now, but um, you know, just by a little bit, I think they're basically the same. Um, ChatGPT is much slower unless you get the paid version, though. Um, this channel's just whatever I feel like. There's gaming, there's tech, there's there's just weird vlogging stuff, I guess. Um, and this is part of it. This is part of the thing. Um, so yeah, if you like this video and uh, want to see more stuff like this, uh, you know, want to just give a like if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you would ask or what you think about these um, uh, two AIs. And uh, yeah, uh, end with a strong call to action. Isn't that what the last thing was I just said? Um, anyway, I'm just gonna end the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for uh, you know ChatGPT if you guys want to try it, and also to sign up for Google Bard. Talk to you guys later.